<laughs> Alright, so welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a little discussion about a side hustle I was intrigued in, but it didn't work until I title it. I failed at this one. That's okay, because I enjoy failure, and that's all that matters. I, I just, as long as I try, I, it makes me feel good. Like, I can fail at it, but at least I tried. And I got into shoe reselling because I figured it would be like fun, easy, simple, buy some shoes, resell them. But it's not as easy as What made it really difficult for me is you got to like keep up with like the sneakers app, Adidas app, the Nike app, the even sometimes the Dick Sporting app. You gotta keep up with it like very consistently and you have to know like when to like enter the raffles or like, and you gotta be like really quick on like certain shoes because they do sell out like fast. Like there's no raffle, which just like, I remember when the um, Tiffany and Co's jobs, those weren't under a raffle. Those were actually, um, those were just first come first serve. The way that, the way the sneakers at work, that, that thing crashed like real quick and ASAP. It kind of crashed how the album music crashed when the Travis Scott album dropped. People that are actually like dedicated to this and not just making it into, uh, like a quick money grabber. Like it's not for what I was going for, like Yeezys, the top Jordans, the top Nikes, all that stuff. Like I was looking for like the top stuff to all the grab. The minimalistic stuff, like just some BS slides or like just some regular fours and resell them for, yeah, it's a couple extra bucks, but that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for buying like Travis Scott for like 150 and then reselling them for like two grand. That's what I was looking to, but it's not as easy as I thought it would be, which I kind of figured, but hell, why not? But I tried, I failed, but I'm gonna go look through the main three, the three shoes that I, well, one of them I haven't sold yet. I might, but the other two, um, but luckily I got them in sizes that uh, I can fit to the pairs of my girlfriend matters. I like, actually gave them to me. So I actually gave them to her. So that's like all in the end all. The other one, I'm still skeptical. Cause since I got the Nike slides, I might not sell these. I might still sell these, but who knows? Who knows when I'm ever gonna get another pair? Uh, and that would be these. Uh, I did a full video on these. Y'all haven't go check it out. Links right there. Um, these were actually pretty decent to get. I'm actually surprised I even got them because this is when Kanye just came back to Yeezy. So I'm surprised I even got the blue ones at all. I got them size 11. They'll fit perfect. I just don't get to sell them or keeps. Time will tell. Uh, it depends on um, if I need to get rid of them or not. But, like, it's whatever, really. I mean, they're just regular slides. I don't know how they fit or feel compared to these ones. But these ones are actually like, really cool. I've yet to do a video on them, but that will. But these versus Yeezys will be coming. Up. That's where it's kind of difficult. Nike versus Adidas slides. It was a Spider Man. It was a Spider Man shoot. Um, I got them in. I got them in eight and a half, just in case if uh, I couldn't resell them. Um, but yeah, they're in pristine condition, perfect, uh, never worn, nothing. Shoelaces even have. I tried to resell them. The, the initial offer was just too low for what I wanted, and that was a problem. But I should have took it because it was still two hundred dollars back, a little extra. But I actually thought these would resell a lot faster because the Spider-Man movie was coming out. Here they would sell like real fast. But I don't know. We can. I can maybe hold off till next year. Last one comes out. I can try, but. But we'll see how but we'll see how it goes. See FedEx fucked up the box anyway, so recent collectors or resellers or buyers won't let the box in permission. Well FedEx and the last shoes. These I bought. Um, um I forget when I bought them, but I it says June 5th, 2020, so I bought them in 20 they first came out. It's the Simpsons van. I bought these ten and a half just in case if I could resell them, I could just buy it. I think my problem was because I was going through each one. They had the Mr. Plow. They had some. Bar they had Bart ones, Mr. Plow, um, the Itchy and Scratchy. I got the Itchy and Scratchy. They had Lisa. Uh, they had Lisa. Of course, the whole family. But I figured the Itchy and Scratchy ones because it was the popular show on the show. You would figure this would be. I figured this one would be the one that would sell or be like the release, but it actually wasn't. These were actually going for the Mr. Plow ones were actually, and I didn't think that would actually be Mr. Plow character. Was only episode or two, but that could probably be. You figure the popular show, the popular show inside the show, the shoes would be popular. But uh, they're ten and a half. I'm actually looking at them. Um, they're ten and a half. It would actually fit perfect. I just don't know when I would wear these or how. So it's kind of like a problem. They're yellow, blue, gray, black. I don't know what I could wear with that. And it's kind of into stuff like this. I just bought them to resell, but apparently still got them. Didn't resell. <laughs> but the thing is, like the box is actually. Oh, that's another thing about this box. Um, when I first unboxed it. I messed the box up. Like you can't see it, but when I slip the box to get to the shoes, like I put, I used like a key or something. I think I used the key and I like put a, like a little slip there. So the box is damaged either way, and I've had them for a while, so the box is thrown around, sitting in the closet. So I don't even. But yeah. So the resale game is not for me. Let me know what side house I should try next. I'm